going on, Jerome's? Today is the official start of Vikings organized team activities. So much room for activities uh, at TCO Performance Center Bar and Grill. And the major question is, will Justin Friggin Jefferson be in attendance? Now, in the grand scheme of things, is it important? Not not really. It, it is voluntary uh, part of the offseason program. And you know, with, with Jefferson, it, it does seem like Vikings and Quasey and JJ are rounding third and just heading into home, getting this extension done. You know, there's been a lot of talk about July 31st as a key date because of the potential sizable signing bonus uh, for, from an accounting perspective. But e- either way, still like 90 9.2% certain, certain uh, that the Vikings are going to get something done with J.J. Uh, before the start of training camp. And now now it's just a waiting game as we enjoy this beautiful Minnesota summer, which is going to be upon us, as well as NBA Championship Parade. Don't jinx it. Hmm. Uh, but last year, uh, so last year when J.J. was eligible for an extension, uh, he, he did have the did not attend voluntary OTAs look. So when the only... The only uh, tool that the players have now, uh, w- given the new CBA, uh, in negotiations is withholding services. And you can't really skip mandatory minicamp or training camp because those fines, uh, they do rack up. And it depends on if the player is on his rookie or second contract, if the team can resend them. It's either way. But uh, basically last year, J.J. didn't show up for OTAs as well. As that they get That gave a... Uh, Ironically, uh, Jalen Naylor a chance to shine OTAs and look really, really good, man. Uh, but he did show up for a mandatory mini camp, you know, which is a big story last year. Looking good too, looking really fantastic. Also ha- had a new leg uh, tattoo. It's good. It's really good. But uh, we'll see what happens this time around because OTAs, like we said, are voluntary uh, as through the three weeks of, of practice. Uh, JJ has no workout bonus, uh, as is common with all rookie contracts, where it's a veteran second and third contracts that usually have a workout bonus, typically sometimes 100K up to 150K, where, I mean, with the Packers, it's almost a million. It's almost like people don't want to spend uh, more time in, in Wisconsin than they have to. Ah. Uh, but also... Who said skipped OTAs last year to to prove a point? Uh, did attend mini camp and training camp, so there wasn't any disruption there. And I, I think that's what JJ wants to do. Where you know th- this is kind of a tough spot for Jefferson because obviously want to get the contract done, wants to get his uh, fair value, which frankly his fair value is the highest paid receiver in NFL history as well as the highest paid non quarterback in NFL history. That's just what the market uh, is the market. But also he doesn't want to be disruptive to the team, doesn't want to be a distraction, and I, I think that he accomplishes both those things as he uh, walks that tightrope uh, between getting things done and just completely acquiescing. Now, could he attend? Sure. Uh, I think that J.J. understands that, with especially with Kurt now gone, like he is the captain of the offense. like He is the captain of, uh, and face of this team. Also, uh, since there's a changeover at quarterback, uh, getting in some extra reps with Sam Darnold and J.J. McCarthy, who he's already reached out to after McCarthy was drafted, uh, I think that could uh, certainly benefit him as well. Also, let's not discount that the Wolves are hosting Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals on Wednesday uh, dur- during this week of OTA. So, I mean, if JJ is going to be in town, I mean, I mean, he he may as well head over to Egan and get a couple of practice reps in, do, do that up. But again, like I said, not worried. Ninety nine point two percent certain uh, that something's going to get done before training camp, and we're going to have Jefferson and Anthony Edwards locked up long term as JJ uh, and Edwards bring home se- several trophies to the great state of Minnesota. Bring your ass. Right, man. Anyways, your thoughts on our thoughts. Uh, will Justin Jefferson attend voluntary OTAs that begin this week? Uh, let us know your thoughts. Our thoughts, blah, blah, blah. You guys know what to do. Skull production value.